guys, this is Carolina Millan. Welcome to video number two of this series where, you know, to, to remind you what we're doing here, uh, I'm talking about the book, The Magic of Thinking Big, one specific chapter that talks about building confidence, okay? Now, if you didn't watch the first video, I suggest you do that now, okay? You'll find a link here in this video to go watch video number one if you missed it. If you already watched that, then stay with me here. Now, the second concept that I wanted to cover um, related to building your confidence is your thoughts, okay, your memory. And the author of the book, he talks about the memory bank, which basically is how we treat our brain as a bank where we can withdraw, right, and deposit thoughts, okay. Now, we deposit a lot of thoughts and experiences every day, and sometimes they may be beyond our control especially with the negative stuff. Something negative may have happened to us or somebody that we care about said something negative to us, right? So how do we respond to that, right? Um, it's kind of hard to avoid getting that deposited into your memory. But one thing that you can avoid for sure is, is withdrawing it, okay? Now we may have a lot of bad thoughts and bad memories in our head, but as long as we don't withdraw them, withdraw them, they will stay there and they will not be haunting us and become a huge monster of negativity, okay? And I don't know if you've noticed, right, but our thoughts are like huge, huge chains and when you think about one thing, then the first thing that comes to you is a like thought, similar thought, and then another similar thought, and another one, and another one, and then you're like, how did I, why am I thinking about this? How did I get here, right? Because y you forget what the root thought was, right? Now try to make all your root thoughts positive and avoid as much as you can rethinking and reliving the bad, the negative thoughts that you have in your head. So don't withdraw them, right? I know it's hard, I know it's hard, but you need to control this as much as you can. So whenever you feel a negative thought coming to you, boom, try to immediately acknowledge, acknowledge, okay, crap, I'm being negative here. Okay, let's switch and switch that into a positive thought. Now one uh, technique that I use um, to stop myself from going into this downward spiral of negativity that you know sometimes I find myself caught into that and, and there isn't much we can do, but there actually is. I mean, we think there's nothing we can do, but there is. And one good technique that I use is the grateful um, technique, you know, thinking about anything that you're grateful for. And it's really simple. You just look at your life and you can make a list. You can actually write it down. You can make a written list. It's easier, right? And you think about all the good things that you have in your life to be thankful for. And the thing is, sometimes they are so simple, so simple that we take them for granted. For example, health. Are you in good health? Can you be grateful for it? And if your health is not super awesome or super healthy, are you at least, are you healthier than other people? I mean, are you healthy enough that you're watching this video on your own, your computer, you know? Are you healthy enough that, that you can walk? Let's say you can walk. We take that for granted. There's so many people out there who cannot walk at all, right? Um, and yet, they have a lot of things to be grateful for. Do you have food on the table every day? You grateful for that? Well, be grateful for it. Don't take it for granted, you know? And it's, it's also not about, it's, being grateful is not about thinking that, oh, other people are doing bad, so I should be grateful that I'm doing so good. It's not about that. It's not about comparing yourself to other people. I know it helps some people to do that, you know, oh, but there are people starving in Africa, so yeah, I should be grateful. That may work for you, but it's not just about that, you know, it's not just about focusing on something negative and then, you know, saying, well, uh, I, it could be worse. <laughs> it could always be worse. But that's not the point. Okay? The point is, yet, is that you're able to look at your life and be glad, be grateful for what you have. Think about the people you have in your life. Think about everything that is unique about you and about your life. Focus on that, and you'll see how better things start coming your way. 
Another technique besides, you know, just naming everything that you feel lucky for, that you feel grateful for, is, um, you know, smiling. And it might seem even more simple, but try this, you know, try smiling and then try to, try to think negative at the same time and you'll see that it's not easy. And a lot of times I find myself uh, being negative, you know, thinking, thinking bad things, thinking negative thoughts. And then I go like, And, you know, I just let a natural smile come to me. It has to be a full smile, you know, show your teeth and all. And immediately my thoughts will shift into something positive. So my friend, that would be the moral of this video, of, of, um, of this message. Don't withdraw negative thoughts from your bank, from your memory bank. Always try to withdraw positive thoughts. Because the more positive thoughts you think, the more positive experiences will come to your life. Events, circumstances, and people, okay? That will continue to give you a positive feeling. And when you focus on the negative, you'll get events, circumstances, and people that will bring you more negativity. So which one is it gonna be? Which one are you gonna choose? Well, my friends, this is Carolina Millan. If you enjoyed this video, watching this on YouTube make sure you subscribe to my channel and also leave a comment below if you enjoyed it like this video as well and go ahead and share it with friends family or your email subscribers if you think they, they could get some value from this message and go out there and think more positive my friend I'll see you in the next video